Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today we've got one system to check out from the user Carl the First in Discord so massive thank you to them for sending in this system and their system is just called the solar system. So it's a custom realistic solar system with Venus being terraformed, credits Neptunian guy and Mad Planet guy, pretty cool. So let's go ahead and see what he has prepared for us today so it's a custom solar system so i do quite like these okay Ooh. okay ah so i see he's followed my sort of color schemes with the uh the planet uh, trails he's even put pluto in purple i'd had people tell me why i've done that before looks like i got another guy that likes it <laughs> nice i said now yeah he's got all the colors sort of matching how i would do it as well okay so let's actually see he's got the tesla roadster in here as well so Obviously, we know the solar systems. We don't need to check out the sun. So, first of all, we've got Mercury here. So, any changes with the Mercury? So, we can see... Looks like it's got a bit of a glitch line there. Let's just ignore that. So, he's given it an atmosphere, as we can see. A little more than um, the normal game gives it. Because the normal game doesn't really give Mercury anything to uh, show now. So, yeah, good to see Mercury with its thin atmosphere there. So, looking good. Next up, we got Venus Terraformed Edition. So, let's go ahead and see... What is going on here? Okay. So it says it's minus 42. I'm not so sure about that. The highest points go up to 60. But yeah, it's got a very uh, low temperature. Let's check its Earth similarity as well. 96 but zero on the life. That's probably because the average is so low. Interesting. Okay, so look underneath. So as we can see, it's the normal good old Venus texture. Uh, we could try setting the water. I think the water looks a little... Uh... Oh. Well, okay. That's a bit weird. <laughs> Ah, uh, we've broken it. Whoops, it is. It's a bit weird why it's doing that. Uh, it's probably because it's exported from an older version of the game. That's probably uh, probably why. But uh, yeah, there we are. So that's the Venus. Okay, right. Next up, we got Earth. So I'm assuming Earth's probably the same, just with a slightly different coloured cloud layer or something. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so it's got more clouds, which is how Earth should be, really. It isn't as clear as the game normally puts it. I mean, normally Earth in the game looks more like that without any clouds at all, hardly. So it's good to see Earth with a higher amount of clouds on it. So looking good. Then we have the Tesla Rosa chilling in there as well. Nice to see it in here. We've also got this one here, a a Apolphis. If I'm saying that right, so that's an asteroid going in between the uh, Earth and Mars sort of orbital areas there. Well, not Mars, sorry, the Tesla Rosa, I should say. So it's mainly around the Earth area. Next up, we've got Mars. So a thick dust storm version of Mars as well. I used to have one like this in my system for a bit. So as we can see, good old normal Mars underneath with that thick, cloudy dust storm look to it. So I, I like the dust storm Mars. I do dig it. It does look good. So there it is there. Looking good. Okay, next up we have got Jupiter. Well, they've got Ceres as well. Keep an eye on that Ceres. No, nothing different there. Vesta. So I think the asteroid belts are just all... Um, Pretty much just the same as normal. He's even got the Mr. Spock asteroid in it that I used to have. Very cool. Next up, we've got Jupiter here. So this, I'm assuming, is the Mega Banded Jupiter. Looking cool. Ooh, okay. Got the red spot in there as well. Looking good. Very nice. It almost looks like it has an atmosphere glow to it, but it definitely doesn't. But it almost looks like it's glowing. I quite like that, actually. Looks clean. Nice. I do like that. There's Jupiter, so he's gone with orange like I would. Then Saturn, he's also gone the yellow trail, how I normally would do it. Looking good here. Very nice indeed. This is a nice custom man. So that, that's my planet guy's custom Saturn, I believe. So I still have copies of all of those. Uh, Saturn. Then we have Uranus. The nice, good old bland blue, just the one band. It's all you need for a custom Uranus. There you go. Looking good. Can't go wrong with that, honestly. Cannot go wrong with that. So there's Uranus. Then Neptune over here. So we've gone with the ultra realistic, the non deep blue, the pale, pastel sort of shade of how it actually really is. So looking good. So the ultra realistic Neptune there. That's the, That was my Planet Guys one as well, I believe. So. Looking good. It just looks really nice and realistic, so I do like it. So, there you go. It has a lot of bands, as you can see. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh yeah. 
So there we go. So there's Neptune. Okay, moving on. So we've got the purple Pluto. So that looks the same as normal with the white atmosphere. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> with the white atmosphere. So that's how I'd normally have any custom Pluto I make. I'd always have that pale white atmosphere to go on it. Because we know it has an atmosphere. Because we saw the pictures from New Horizon having that atmosphere glow and the haze to it. So we know it, it does have an atmosphere. So it's nice to see it in the game. And we have Iris over here. So he's gone with the way I do it as well with the uh, all-white Pluto texture. It looks good, honestly. I like it for Iris there. And we've got Far Out over here with the pinker shade. Looking cool. What's that one with the lighter? What is this? This one I don't know myself. I've not seen this one. Is this a, is this, is this a real thing? I don't know. I've not seen that. Oh, there's that one as well. And we have Sedna over here, rolling with the normal good old Sedna texture, looking good. Got a bit of snow patches on it as well, looks quite cool. I've not heard of this one either. Or this one, Gong Gong. Are these just new ones? I don't I haven't I don't know these. I've not heard of them. And then we have Make Make over here, make bake. Oh. Also going with the reddish tint, as it's supposedly believed to have. Looking good. And then next up we've got Planet Nine over here. Go with the good old... Oh, it's got the uh, dark spot effect on it. Okay, cool. Obviously pitch black. Looks good, though, with the dark spot effect. Slightly different to mine. It's more uh, paled out. Okay, cool. And then I believe that is mainly everything. But far, far out as well. Looking good. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Yeah, I can definitely see he's taking inspiration from the way I do mine, because... I mean, if we go in, actually go into mine, I haven't actually used it in a while. Um, I think it's update 31 was the last one I made. So if we go into mine, yeah, we can see that he's uh, got the same sort of um, colour effects as I do, which is really cool. There you go, there's, there's, there's my whole list. We'll quickly just go through all the planets just on them. So that's a comparison. So the Jupiter, my Jupiter and Saturn are a lot more colour enhanced than his, I'd say. Look, the Jupiter's upside down. <laughs> so then we have Saturn there. I'm not sure if this is the mega banded one. I don't think it is. I think that's the negative contrast one with a slight dark effect on it. Then we've got Uranus, slightly again, a little more colour enhanced. Then we've got the dark spot Neptune. We've got the good old traditional Planet Nine we've had for years. Then Earth, like it, like he did as well. My one also has the thicker clouds, more, just more clouds in general on it. Then we have Venus here. This is, um, I think this is actually the newest of the ones I have. The thicker clouds in there. Looks pretty cool. We've got some... I don't remember it being that hot to have glowing areas, but it looks cool. So there it is. Then we have Mars. Yeah, so my, my most current Mars actually has um, a dust storm effect on it as well. Then you've got my Mercury here again. with The nice atmosphere. Pluto and Iris together. Again, using the Pluto texture there. Looking good. Make Make. Slight red tint to it. Then we have Sedna over here again. The slight tint. I don't remember putting an atmosphere on this though. So I think that's just because the atmospheres in the game have changed since I used this. So maybe I need to update this. Let me know. Shall I update this system again? Uh, then we have Ceres. Ceres looks a bit different. Looks like its craters are showing up a lot more. That's pretty cool. And that's mainly everything. Vesta's text has changed because that's all white now. So obviously something's happened with that. But yeah, there we go. So that's nice. You can see, yeah, it's quite similar but different in some ways. But yeah, nice to uh, check out someone else's interpretation of it. So yeah, very, very nice indeed. So if we quickly hop back to the system now. So there we are. But yeah, a massive thank you to the creator of this, um, Carl the First, for sending in this system. I like it. So yeah, credits, Neptune guy, Mad Planet guy. He's there. He's got um, both of our bits in there actually. So that's cool. I like it. So yeah, a massive thank you to him once more, guys. And yeah, that will send them. Really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, press that like button, subscribe for more. Helps on the journey to thirty thousand subscribers. And yeah, with that all said and done. Make sure you guys all stay safe out there. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.